What is going on, Avengers? Another week, another War Table blog is up. And you know what that means? Marketplace changes, priority mission changes, reset on the Omega Hives, the basics. Nothing too particular on the website, nothing you can't find out by just opening the game up yourself. But let's head over onto the Marketplace and drop the hammer on these skins, see if they're worthy of my coin. So opening up the marketplace right now, I can tell you that I will not be buying any of these skins because they seem and they look right off the bat pretty basic to me. These are a bunch of basic skins. I feel like that Kamala one like right off the bat is a recolor. Black Widow's very minimalistic. Hulk I've seen before. Iron Man's gold. Okay, that's pretty cool. Kate Bishop's. Okay, that does look pretty cool, but I wouldn't buy it. Straight up, I can tell you right now I wouldn't buy it. But anyways, let's go over one by one. Kate Bishop, Young Avenger. I do like the shades. I do like the one-armed suit there with the wrap around her waist. I do wonder if this is some type of resource or some variation of Thor's unworthy body. I'm not sure, but just that one arm just kind of gives it to me. I do like how purple it is. The white scarf like kind of changes it up up there. Her hair, okay, it's all the way down. I like it for the most part, but it is pretty basic to me, but it is sleek looking. I do like that for the most part, but I will not be buying this one because like I said, it's fairly basic and plain. Moving on to Iron Man's Amaranthine. I had to look this one up. Something, that word means something about undying, actually. Something about a flower, red is pinkish. I don't no, it didn't make sense to me. There's a singer, some chick singing some crazy song with some rock dude. It was good stuff. Good little adventure on Google. But anyways, this Iron Man suit is pretty cool, actually. There's a lot of articulation points with the vents and the way he moves. His whole body's covered up. I do like the gold. The face mask looks a little bit mean. It looks like it has some a little bit more aggression than his iconic or his Stark outfit, so I do like that. Maybe the shape is different, or the eyes are higher, or slanted in more. I'm not really sure, but I do like the face. The chest piece, on the other hand, it kind of reminds me of a character that was leaked not too long ago by the name of Black Panther. That chest piece with the shoulder straps, the metal-looking shoulder straps, I feel like could be a variation of Black Panther's chest piece. I really like that, actually. At a closer look, I didn't care too much about this Iron Man skin, but whenever I open it up and get big, I do like every little piece I see. The gold, though, it's just so plain Jane, but although I, I do like this, but I will not be purchasing this. Moving on to Hulk Cabana. I like this skin. It's goofy. It's fun. I really wish they had some type of cigar emote for Hulk or like a daiquiri instead of a teacup or whatever. That might be a little adult. I get that or whatever, and they probably wouldn't put that in. But yeah, this, this looks great. I would love to just have special emotes for some skins, like if they had special emotes for exotic skins or something along those lines, something to pepper up and spice up the skins would be nice. This is a, I like, <laughs> this Hulk is great. I like his fade, his like really, really tight haircut up there with the, with the hat covering. His rings give him like super, super badass attitude and his bracelet too. Really cool. Looks like a chill Hulk. I'm not going to get it. Moving on to Black Widow's Agent Epic outfit. I like this outfit. It's minimalistic. She has some weird type of LBV there with a sidearm holster. She has her three mags. It's like a, a brace or something. It, uh, but it doesn't go around her shoulders. That's like a whole different apparatus. Which so Okay, that's weird to me. Maybe if it connected in the back, I, it would make more sense. I get it. But anyways, it's real minimalistic. I do like the, the knee pads and how futuristic they look or just how sharp they look and her shoes she's got some type of ninja athletic shoe you know with the red sporting on the outside just looks a little different this black widow looks like she's very athletic i do like the blue tint this is a super shield look i would say with the blue and just the militaristic combat look that she has i i do like this but like I said, Too Plain Jane, the one last week is holding me over, so I'm good on this one, although I do like it. Moving on to Miss Marvel Shooting Star. This one is interesting. It's super heroic looking because of the colors, yellow and blue. The red scarf just throws it off. It's super bright. I like this. I feel like it's a recolor though, and it, like I said, it's just plain Jane, just like the rest of them, kind of. Like, nothing gets my attention like Unworthy Thor, Raygun Iron Man, Gladiator Hulk. And it's these types of skins that I'm willing to pay money for. But beyond that, the, the skins that 
already come with the game or that I can unlock through challenge cards, like I'm content with. So this week to me is a pretty basic week, although I do appreciate it and they do look cool looking up at it, but I could go without and honestly, I don't feel like I'm missing out on anything. And last but not least, Thor's rare outfit, High Guard. I like the jeans look. I like the cape. It looks super silky. Uh, this is just a very rough and gruff style of Thor. I could go without the helmet on some of these. I really wish that we could get some type of unworthy Thor hair with a variation of his Asgard suit or his Asgard armor. That would be cool. But yeah, I think this one has been in the marketplace for a grip now. So, I mean, I have enough Thor outfits. I feel like I'm good. Cool looking suit. I like the shoes and the jeans and the arms and the cape. But besides that, I mean you know whatever and closing off the marketplace with the name tapes some of these name plates actually caught my eye i do like most of them this iron man seemed basic at first but then when you open it up it has two different iron man one looking from the future and one looks like he's from the past i wouldn't mind having that one this kate bishop one looks really cool she's fighting a squid i don't know where that's from that would be interesting and if any of you guys know where any of these name plates come from uh, one that sparked my interest heavily was this Captain America one. I feel like I can note Joe Mad's drawing style from a mile away by now. He has this particular sharp edge anime eastern western look to him. I remember when I did a lot of research on him for the game Darksiders, which is a very great game by the way. He is the art designer and art director of that game and that's why those games have such great art because Joe Matt, he worked for Marvel. He did a lot of Wolverine, a lot of Inhumans and his drawing style was actually critiqued and criticized early on for bringing the anime looking style into Marvel comics which was very interesting. I love the Darksiders art. I love what he does with Battle Chasers. He does Darksiders Genesis. There's a lot of art that he does and you could just tell that he has a particular style and I personally really like it. So I wouldn't mind getting my hands on this Captain America one. I can guarantee I can grab this through a challenge card. But anyways, guys, with that being said, that's going to end the marketplace right there. Now we're going to go on into a little bit personal thoughts. Okay guys, so Marvel's Avengers community is going through a little bit of a rough patch right now. A lot of the fans are complaining about the developer's transparency. On top of, we got this stupid ass doxing incident that happened, which is a damn shame. That should never happen. This is just a video game, and it's truly disgusting that people would put out personal information due to a video game. Now, as far as I can tell, there will be no dev stream this week, which is today on January 22nd. I do not see it scheduled in their Twitch account. And I have also seen Miller retweet Assemble Podcast Twitter saying that there will be no dev stream this week. These are two very reliable sources for this game. So as of Friday morning, no dev stream and I can only assume that has to do with the incident that has recently happened. It's very unfortunate, guys. It's tough to be a Marvel's Avengers fan, I'll tell you what. But on the bright side, just to end this video on a high note, I have met more Marvel fanatics through this game than I probably would have ever in my life. So thank you everybody who has supported me and thank you guys for coming to my streams. It's a good time. I like talking the movie scenes. I like talking the characters. I like speculating with you guys to see what could happen or what's going on within the Marvel world, the cinematic world, the comic world. I love talking with you guys. I've met so many good people, so many good Marvel fans through this game. So, but anyways, guys, with that being said, I'm Machine Gun Mike. You guys have a good one. Out.